for joining me, Commanders. I have been having an immense amount of fun developing this kind of airborne Second World War, stroke post Second World War, Conflict 47, stroke bolt action army. And uh, I continue adding to the mechanised element of that force with these, uh, as, as, as you may already have seen and have, have a look for other videos where I've put together these vehicles. We've got the Williams Jeeps from, from Rubicon. Uh, models really enjoy putting these together. If you've never done vehicles before in your wargaming exploits, do do grab a couple of these because these are so much fun to put together and paint. They've got every bit as much of, of, of detail as other as other models, but because they're quite small, they're fun to put together and really fun to paint. You can treat it like a big infantry model, really, and uh, they're really worth the very cheap price you pay for them. And we've got this uh, cool. Sherman tank again from Rubicon. Uh, big enjoyment in that. So that, that would be coming up to kind of support the troops once they've landed. They'd be making their way towards the battle zone. Like 30 core from the Battle for Arnhem, as you might have seen in the famous movie Bridge Too Far. And then this mud skipper jump walker again might be dropped with the troops with the Jeeps, perhaps, as it's a jump walker from Warlord Games. So so that's ace. So now next we've got something to add a bit of dimension to my mechanized force i want some specialist intervention and to that end i've got this cruiser tank it's the uh it's the crusader i think it's called there we are yes the crusader early war so what's that doing in in this army you think we're in 1947 it's where the army's based it's the conflict 47 system or bolt action with late war paratroopers so so what's this doing in my army? You you might ask, and, and it would be a good question, as this is quite an early war tank using in the uh, Africa North Africa campaign against kind of Erwin Rommel and, and Monty might have, might have seen these. Well, when they stopped using these so much, they you know the the, the German they, they were great against German tanks apparently in the uh, start of the North Africa campaign. They could deal with Panzer threes and Panzer fours etc. When the Germans started using big tanks, the, the poor old six pounder gun on, on this tank, did, it wasn't really that effective against these kind of heavier German tanks apparently. So they would relegate this, relegate, they would reuse, repurpose this tank uh, and use it in different ways. So they'd use it as say a tank for anti-air work. How interesting is that? So you can actually have auto cannons on this. So that's where I want to use it in my army when we're looking at the Conflict 47 um, background. So in this kit, you get this really nice box, very shiny. It's not wrapped in cling film, you notice. There you go. And that's because um, everything's wrapped inside and uh, lots of variations of tank you can have here. History, and the history's there for your interest and is a nice thing that Rubicon have put on, but also I would assert um, it's useful information when you're deciding what kind of tank you're putting together. So here we go, here we go into the box. My favourite parts in the whole hobby. As I say, no cling film on the outside, not needed, as generally, I guess, I guess we're correct. And there we are. Everything inside is neatly and secure. It's not, it's quite thick cling film as well. Um, it's not cling film as such a bag. Um, it, it is, it's well wrapped, so it's nice, nice, thick and durable uh, plastic in this. That's great. So we'll get rid of the box. Now, one, two, three, three bags, the uh, detailed and helpful instructions, there we go, brilliant, and these transfers here, very ace indeed. Okay, so there's the instructions, so these are nicely detailed and we'll have quite early on, I'm guessing, the different types of tank that I can have. And they're the, indeed, they are illustrated at the top there. It's amazing the detail that they can cram into four pages as well, I think, but uh, it works very well. And so the kit has a lot of detail on it.
and there she is ready for painting i'm excited i was excited putting putting this model together wonderful job it is i not of my modeling uh, prowess by any means the the makeup of the model is the bit that's wonderful um nice and tight not too tight but everything slots in and is poseable and moves beautifully loads of detail on there loads of little extras that you can put on there let me lean down here and show you look there's loads of extra stuff as well let's have a quick look look at that and there look it's another sprue there's two sprues full of full of extra turret bits that you can uh, you can use for your modeling project so i think that's i think that's stunning i do having lots of extra bits so that's ready to paint now um and uh, i'm really looking forward to that so thank you for joining me as i bring this new piece of armor to the conflict 47 army that i'm making and uh, remember keep your eyes on the skies because you never know what's coming over the horizon dear chaps <laughs>